Hey, welcome to another episode of Derek Hermas. I'm Jeff, and today I'm going to show you how to diagnose and fix a trunk that will not open with your remote. Now, I have here my 2013 Honda Accord. This vehicle is equipped with the smart entry system, and here is my remote. And so, when I push the trunk release button, nothing happens, right? And when I push the trunk release button on the trunk right here, you hear the beep, but the trunk doesn't pop open. Now the first thing I'm going to do is verify that the valley switch is not turned on. If your vehicle has a valley switch and it's turned on, the trunk is not going to open with the remote or the trunk release button. For my particular vehicle, it's located right here. I just need to make sure that this is actually set to on. This is the main controller for the trunk release back there. So make sure it's on that it's not set to off. If it's set to off, that is the valet mode. So then that means the trunk will not pop open with the remote or that release button. So I'm going to make sure that this is on the on mode. And then I'm going to push the remote again. And as you can see, it does not work. But just to verify that there is still battery in here, I'm going to go ahead and lock and unlock the vehicle. As you can see, it works. Next, I'm going to go ahead and release the trunk with the lever. And as you can see, it does open up. Next, with the trunk open, I'm going to go ahead and push on the trunk release button to see if it will activate the actuator, and it still does not. Now, with the trunk lid open manually, I'm going to go ahead and disconnect the connector for the trunk lock actuator. Just pull down the liner. You just push the little gray tab in the bottom and pull out. Now, once the harness is removed, we can verify that if this lock actuator is defective or not. Now, if you look inside, there's three little pins. The middle right there is going to be the ground. The pin on the right is going to be for the actuator. And the pin on the left is going to be for the switch. So we want to verify this actuator is actually functioning. And so in order to do that, what you do is you go ahead and supply power to the right actuator pin and ground the middle. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and provide power by taking a 12 volt battery and connecting it into the opening. And here is the ground side, which goes to the middle one. And here is the positive. And I'm going to connect it to the battery and I should hear the actuator go on and off. And I do. As you can see, now that I verify that the actuator is working on this assembly, I'm going to verify that the switch is not defective. All right, so it was a little difficult to do with this still attached to the vehicle, so I quickly removed it for now. All right, so inside in here, I need to go ahead and probe the middle one and then the right one, and I should see continuity in between those two. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and probe the two pins. And as you can see, I do have continuity. So I verified that the actuator is working and also the switch is good. So this is not the issue. So you don't need to spend the extra 50 bucks to buy a new one of these. All right, so now I'm going to look at this wire harness with this three pin plug. The middle black wire is the ground. The orange wire is for the actuator and then the white wire is for the switch. Now the switch is also tied to the trunk light. And so if there was any issue with this white wire, the, your trunk light should not turn on. But as you can see, the trunk light does work. So that means out of this three wire, the problem could be either the actuator wire or the ground wire. And so I'm going to go ahead and check for continuity between this plug right here all the way down to the ground, which is right here. Because what possibly can happen is one of the wires between these three connectors could have shorted out within this wire loom. So it might have been cut. And so I need to verify that. Now I'm going to take my multimeter, set to continuity, and check my ground wire to see if I have continuity between the plug and also the grounding point right here. And so I'm just going to take one of the leads and then put it here, touch this and then take the other side and put it into the ground wire. So I'm going to probe the black wire and take the other end and touch that bolt that's down here with 
the other end. And as you can see, I have no continuity. So that means there is a break in this black wire somewhere in this wire loom. Now that I verified there is a short on my ground wire, I need to follow this wire loom and locate where that short is, where that wire is damaged. A lot of times it's gonna be right here where the trunk lid opens up. So from here, I'm gonna look down and I'm just gonna locate that black wire, which is right here, that black wire with this gray stripe. This is the wire and I'm gonna see if I can find a section, follow this along where there might be a break or where a if the sleeve is exposed. Now I was able to locate the damaged wire under this sleeve right here. Here's the ground wire that was cut. Um, I went ahead and pulled it back and on both ends I just need to go ahead and connect these two wires together. Okay, so here is a temporary fix. I went ahead and connected two ground wires back together and I went ahead and verified that I do have continuity from up here in this plug all the way back to this grounding point and I do. All right, so I just finished soldering and using heat shrink and also vinyl wrap the wire loom back together. Now I just have to go ahead and connect this back and then put the liner back. And now take your remote and there you go. It's working again. And using the trunk switch, it also works. All right, so that was a procedure on how to fix a trunk that will not open with your remote. Now, something to mention is that this trunk issue happened about a couple of weeks ago and on and off, some days it will work, some days it wouldn't. And when this trunk is open, it would always work. When I press on the remote, the actuator, you can hear it working. But when I had the trunk closed about halfway or a little bit lower and I press on the remote, the actuator wouldn't work. So that was another indicator that there was something wrong with the wire, that it wasn't a fuse or a solenoid or anything like that. All right, so if you have any questions, please leave in the comments below. As always, thanks for watching. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe for more videos. Thank you.